So there used to be little stickers or small signs with arrows that pointed you kind of the direction that the trail went. Um, but somebody has come along and removed most of them. Um, this is a tricky trail to follow if you kind of don't know where to go, but the best thing to do is to try to look for where you think the next sign is. Uh, and another tip is they all have a date on them telling you, this one says 11,000 years ago, the elevation of the lake was about 4,200 feet. Uh, the next sign should be 12,000, the next one 13,000, 14,000, and so on, until you get up to about, I think it's like 28,000 or 30,000 years ago. So you just kind of got to hunt and peck. But this trail does a small little loop up through, you can see those signs up there, up through uh, and over the rocks. Uh, it's just a small hill, really, and then it comes back down around uh, this other side and comes back down. It's sandy. Um, in some spots, it's easy to lose the trail. You just kind of got to look for footprints or trampled brush. Um, but it's a fun little trail. It doesn't take very long. And I love it because it's educational, too.